Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ash and this is my little corner of Tarot YouTube where I read for Visual K artists. So today is going to be for Uruha, who is one of the guitarists of the Gazette. And I'm going to see how his month has been going. Um, tomorrow I'll try to do Kai. I'm so sorry it's taken me so long to do Uruha. I just had a period where I was just really tired. Um, I'll try my best to do Kai's tomorrow. And then I want to read for what's coming up in their near future. Uh, and I want to do other bands as well. Probably Bucktick and Duran Grey. Uh, so yeah, let's get started. Let's see how Uruha's month has been going. I already cleansed this deck and I'm going to be using traditional tarot to start us off today. So let's kind of see what kind of energy is Uruha bringing for the last month. What's kind of been going on in his life? Oh, right off the bat. Sorry, I hit the camera. Okay, let me see. Where do I put this one? I'm going to scooch this up a little bit, so I hope you guys can still see it. It looks okay in the camera, but you never know. I'll bring this one back up when we use it. On the bottom, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, which tells me that he's coming out of a very tiresome time. There was something here that kind of kicked his ass. It was making him feel very lethargic, like really like, just like tired or, um, you know, it's that kind of tired where you feel tired, but you like not sleepy tired. Does that make any sense? But with the star here, I feel like especially because they're starting to resume working and he can start kind of putting the projects and the things that he's working on forward so that people can see it and acknowledge him. I think that's giving him like a new, a new breath of wind. Like it's just giving him a little new something that is pushing him forward. That's making him feel good about himself. And then in the middle... <sighs> We have the two of cups in reverse, so I do see here that, um, you know what, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put this to the side because maybe that's something we can look into. He's feeling bad about some sort of romantic connection. Maybe he's feeling a little lonely. Okay, so let's start here. There's some interesting stuff that's going on in little Uruha's life. Um, we have a tower card here, so I'm really interested in seeing what that's about. But to start off, we do have the seven of wands in reverse, which means he came out of a time where I think for a period he felt really irritated with everybody in his life, or he felt like, um, everybody was like trying to argue with him or, um, I feel like probably most people go through periods in their life where just for a while, like, you know, it seems like you can't get along with anybody. I feel like he kind of went through one of those periods. Um, but something gave here with the tower. Let me see if I can... What is the tower card here for? What kind of tower moment did Uruha go through? Why is the tower card here? Okay, wow. Wow. He was freaking the fuck out about some something and it's something he created. So it could be about the release or mixing or something, something he created. He was freaking out so much to the point where like he could hardly sleep, especially with the nine of swords here. But with the three of pentacles here, there was something that he worked on that he's really proud of. Um, but something happened with it especially because we have the tower here. So it's like the foundation was ripped out from under him and it really, he was just like, oh my God, like, why did this happen? I don't understand. I poured my heart and soul into this thing. Yeah, something really kind of upset him here.
Okay, and then we have the Nine of Wands in reverse again. Um, with the world and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I think what happened was some sort of creative difference kind of occurred. And I think in the beginning he felt really destroyed by it. Like it just kind of like fucked him up a little bit. And because this was something he really wanted to do. He felt really proud about it. And I don't know if it like... I don't know if it hurt his feelings or what. But it, it made him feel really exhausted. Like, oh my god, like, why do I even fucking bother? Like, kind of like that kind of feeling. Um, however, with the, the Knight of Swords in reverse, yeah, he's not going to be able to put out the picture that he really wanted. Um, I do see that he had an idea in his head, but because the Knight of Swords is in reverse, maybe some one of the other members didn't agree or something like that. And it just didn't happen, especially with the world here. Um... But, you know, even though it didn't come out the way he wanted, I do think at first he was really upset about it. Um, but with the Knight of Cups here, I think he kind of came around to it and he warmed up to it. And also, you know, one of the members might have kind of given him a bit of a peace offering and let him do something else within it. Um, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. But I think that's what, what this was at first with the Seven of Wands in reverse. Like maybe he was just arguing with the members about something. Um, especially because we see here, we see one man fighting all these other people, right? So he felt like he had to go against everyone else, but I do see that that period has changed. Um, that did, that did kind of change something he felt about it though, because we do have the King of Wands in reverse here. Um, so the King of Wands in reverse is sort of like, he felt like his light was dimmed. He felt like he wasn't being seen or heard. Um, he, fe he felt like his creativity wasn't important to other people, or maybe he's like, he started struggling with his creativity as well. And I do think that was because of this, like something really kind of hurt his feelings big time. Um, especially with the three of wands in reverse, he started thinking like, I don't know what the future of this is going to be because I'm not going to be able to do it the way I had hoped. Right. Um, and we got the sun in reverse. So the sun is like the best card you can get. It's the happiest card you can get. So I feel like this really talks about like how heartbroken he was over this thing. Um, I do think in the end he did kind of come to terms with things though, because we see things are kind of like getting a little bit better down here. Um, because with the ace of swords, okay. So on the top, I feel like this heartbreak in this like, um, Whatever happened here was something he created that he could not put out. I think that happened probably more so in the beginning of the month. And this happened near the middle to the end of the month. So um, with the Ace of Swords here, I do see that he got a new idea. Um, that he started thinking like, okay, you know what? Maybe there's another way I can go about this. And then with the Seven of Cups, all of a sudden it was like, bam, bam, bam. He had all these options to do. He had the, all, all these things that he can, um, explore and create with. And especially with this Ten of Wands here, I do see that he started doing it on his own because he wanted to find what was best going to fit his work here with the Eight of Pentacles. Um, and I think he, he came out on top at the end with the king of cups here he started feeling really strongly um about this new creation that he made how did how is this going for him and i do think he has already pitched it with the page of cups here um and with the queen of swords in reverse hmm. actually let me see if that will come back out how do they react? I want to ask it a different way. How do the members react to that? I think they're still sitting on it because with the eight of wands in reverse here, you know, it's like something that's not moving forward. But I do, I honestly do think that like Udo has still kind of anxious about it here but a part of him also feels very powerful about it here with the king of cups okay so what i what i'm kind of getting here is he created something that um somebody said like you know what maybe we can't use it now but i do think we can use it later and i feel like that's making him feel very satisfied okay so they're already thinking about other music besides this album um i feel like they've already started some other things as well 
And yeah, here's Uruha. Like, this is Uruha sitting with all of his ideas, all of his cups, and he's sitting proudly like, look what I did. Look what I created. And I think he knows that the other members love what he did here because there's so much cups here. There's so much heart energy. There's so much love that's put into um, these couple of cards. So this is letting me know that, like... He poured a lot into this, whatever he created, and I do think the other members really did like it. Unfortunately, I don't think they this was something they could use this time around. So we are going to be seeing some very interesting things from Uruha um, within the next couple of years, I feel like. I feel like, you know, these are also things he's sitting on and he's keeping to himself as well. He's keeping some more to himself. So when they make more music, I do think more of it's going to come out and he's going to um, maybe make some of it better and kind of sit on it for a while. You know, it's like if you write a piece, uh, and then keep it in your drafts for a long time and then rewrite it a couple of years later, it's different. And a lot of times we often think it's better because we have a different perspective or we have more experience after we go back and revise it. So I do feel like that's something that we might see in the future from Uruha, but there's a lot of wonderful things that he has created that he's very proud of. So we should look forward to that. Um, this is something that is, uh, that sucks, but I do feel like because he's working with so many other people, um, this is probably something that happens to them often. So let me clean this up real quick and then we'll, we'll figure out what the two of cups and reverse is about, shall we? So what's this about, Taro? Why did Uruha get the two of cups in reverse? What is he thinking? Here with the two of cups in reverse. here two of cups in reverse seven of swords in reverse nine of wands nine of pentacles in reverse three of cups in reverse two of pentacles um okay so usually two of cups to me means romance and three of cups can kind of go with that, but at the same time, I don't really feel like there's anything like romantic here. I don't think he's like, owie, like, oh my God, I wish I had a wife or I wish I had a girlfriend or, you know, this and that. I do feel like he is, Uruha is feeling very lonely. Um, and I think it's just because he, like, underneath the two of cups in reverse is the three of cups in reverse. So this is showing he's feeling very isolated from his friends, from family, from people he just wants to hang out with. Maybe he even misses just dating or just talking with people one-on-one -on -one or going out and drinking with people. Um, with the Seven of Swords in reverse, I feel like this is something that he's actually talked with or expressed to the people in his life or his friends. Um, so it's not like he's, he's hiding this in secret because this card is in reverse. This is something that like, I don't think he's outright like, Oh my God, I'm so lonely, but I do think he's kind of hinted at it to the people in his life. And I do think they know. Um, and I do think that probably contributed to this nine of wands energy where he just felt exhausted, where he just, he just felt like he couldn't do anything. He felt very unstable here with the nine of pentacles in reverse. I think it was very difficult for him. Um, but we do see here that he was still working really hard with the two of pentacles. Um, with the hermit in reverse, I do think he did try really hard to socialize with the people around him the best he could, even if he couldn't go out um, with them. But at the same time, it just wasn't the same here with temperance in reverse. I do think a lot of his work stress kind of manifested in this way as well, because... 
I think Uru has the kind of person who, even if he's not very social, even if he, you know, even if he goes out and he doesn't talk much or he just kind of sits on his phone or something, which is kind of the vibe I get from him, if I'm honest, which there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, like mood. <laughs> but even if he does that, I do think he, he feels a lot better or he feels like his mind is cleared after he goes out with people. I, I do feel like it helps rejuvenate him. It's a way for him to get out because it doesn't really seem like he does much else when he goes out like he's he probably goes grocery shopping and he gets necessities and that's probably it honestly <laughs> um so i feel like he's been feeling really cooped up Ooh, this card jumped out here um with the high priestess he's been getting in touch a lot with himself which i feel like i can't remember which boy it was i think it was owie um who was also kind of feeling high priestess vibes where they're just like sitting and stewing in their head and their mind and thinking about things um, I do think, though, that Uru has, um, you know, connecting with his higher self actually helps him a lot within his musical process and getting that creativity flowing. Anything else here? So he really does feel like he went through some sort of rebirth here. Um, he has a new way of thinking and I think he spent this time learning new ways to create music here with the Hierophant as well. So you know what, like the stuff he's created, he's really proud of and it really helped balance his anxieties and his, I almost want to call it depression a little bit. I mean, it's no secret. We know it's been really hard for them to record the way they have and make a whole entire album the way, the way they had to because of COVID. Um, but you know what? I do feel like, oh, this is beautiful. At the end, we had the two of wands. At the end, you know, even though Uruha went through a hard period, he feels like he has a transformation. He feels like he learned more. He feels more experienced now. He feels happier than ever because he got to create things that are the essence of him. And we saw that earlier with all the water cards, all the cup cards, um, where he, like, it was just from his heart. He was able to create things that were just from him because he didn't have all these distractions around him. And at first I feel like he was really upset about it. Um, and then he, I think he was able to utilize it as a tool. He was like, wait a minute, this is different. This isn't like anything I've ever created before. He would not have been able to create that if he was not in this position. So now he's starting to see like, okay, you know what? I'm seeing the future now. I'm able to share these sounds with the band. I'm sure everybody else has different sounds like that as well. And we'll figure it out. And a new part of my heart, a new part of my transformation, a new part of my soul is going to be in all of our future music. That is how he's feeling. He is feeling empowered within himself. Um, I'm not quite sure if his like loneliness has kind of gone away, but we did see the star earlier. So I do feel like he is, especially with the hermit in reverse here, he is starting to come out of his cave. He's starting to feel seen a little bit more. Um, you know, he had some ups and downs, but he is starting to feel really, really good about himself and really sure about his future. So that is what I have for Uruha. Again, I'm going to try to do Kai's tomorrow. And I do do, I do do, oh my gosh, Ash, grow up. <laughs> I do offer personalized readings. So if you would like a tarot reading from me, my email is down in the description box below, or you can DM, DM me on Twitter or Instagram if you follow me there. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, please like and comment so others can see this. Please share this with your Visual K friends and I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.